Domino! <laughs> we got this. Assalamualaikum and good evening to the name and my fellow classmates. We are from Blue City present on the case study of the Muse Pizza. My name is Fahazika and with my other group member Amira Azmi, Nolini Nabiha, Mu Azmi and Adriana, Anis Pazana and Aida Jasmine. First of all, I will present you on the part of strategy formulation. In the beginning of the strategy formulation is develop alternative strategies by using SWOT analysis. The table shows in the first box is strong values shown in Dominus Pizza lead to their internal strength that should be maintained plus Dominus Pizza grabs this opportunity for the international market expansion to combine with the strong values that have been implemented. With the strength and opportunity, this will easier to the company's system in result to market penetration strategy. Furthermore, for witnesses, it shows that Domino's Pizza has lack of the awareness of product nutrition and opportunities is customizable to customer preference with W and O combined as the product development strategy. Moreover, Domino's Pizza has a strong supply chain system which it is one of their internal strength plus plus competitiveness as the trait equal to diversification. Other than that, for the WT, Domino's Pizza has a lack of dine-in area and the trade is substitute product needs with the weaknesses and trade faced by Domino's, this can emerge them to the market development. Now, I will proceed with the evaluation process on alternative strategies. The first one is market penetration. One of advantages is increased user base which assure growth in future for the organization. Domino's Pizza overall goal is to optimize profitability and expand market share in order to stay relevant and ensure long-term business success. Moreover, the advantages is increase the visibility of a product or service. There are also the disadvantages of market penetration such as create unwanted pressure and the possibility of harm to the company's image might occur as the other companies try towards the competitive advantages. Next, diversification. Advantages of diversification are long-term growth and a positive result of diversifying strategy can be an increase in market share. For example, Domino's Pizza portfolio diversification is egged by its cost leadership generate growth strategy which allows the company to explore new product potential in new markets while minimizing the cost. As for the cons of diversification, it can be seen as complicated and it is not easy to create a perfectly balanced portfolio where it leads to the long time taken. In addition, diversification will also result in the greater expenses of the organization. To illustrate, Domino's has the unrelated diversification which is backward integration as its name implies is riskier than related diversification because the company decides to launch wholly new items in new markets with no past expertise. Hi, my name is Nurini Nabiha Binti Omadani and I will explain on the next alternative evaluation which is the product development. So, product development strategy has provided the minus framework for creating new products. The purpose of this strategy is to seek to increase in revenue and profitability of the minus financial performance through sales by improving or modifying current products or developing a new products. The advantages from implementation of this strategy is it can improve the quality of existing products and services which is subsequently enhancing the company's revenue and profitability. Almost Almost everyone will agree that the quality of a product is important. With product quality, it has boosted Domino's pizza purchasing decisions and profitability in a way where the product has the capability to meet the customer standard. This can be seen where Domino's pizza allows each of their pizza be customized to the specifications of the customers. Not only that, Domino's pizza also is always at the pace in improving the life of their customers and communities through their product and services. Domino's has emphasized on the importance of offering health, health options and a clear calorie count on their meals so that the customers can make an informed decision about what they order from the menu and satisfy their health and wellness goals. Besides that, as one of Malaysia's most recognized companies, Domino's Pizza always go above and beyond to uphold the culture by adhering to the company's smart hustling concept. With its product satisfaction guarantee and 30 minutes delivery time, Domino's is dedicated in providing customers with the finest pizza delivery experience possible. Next, it is disadvantages, which is, it requires an extra cost in production of the product. There is a loss in revenue as a result of the rise in health-conscious consu consumers and increasing of production costs, which has an impact 
impact on the firm as a whole due to the increasing awareness in customers of what to consume and what to avoid as resulted from the government and non-governmental organization focus more on healthy lifestyle this has pushed uh, Domino's Pizza of the new introductions of a health conscious menu with new flavor ad- additives that are low in fat which has resulted in an increase in a business production cost as the cost of vegetables and raw materials grows the cost of running the pizza chain live as well furthermore competition has an impact on the company's bottom line as a result managing cash flow becomes challenging apart from that as this product development strategy depends on the customer's preference this means there will always a risk of this product development strategy being compromised every time customer tastes and interests evolve from time to time the next will be market development as this strategy is a new st- strategy to be started by Domino's. The implementation of the strategy can increase the brand recognition and demand for the new store with low cost. This is because this strategy enables Domino's introducing existing products or services into a new geographic area. Expanding the business into new areas will be helpful to Domino's Pizza by targeting the developing economies to be the future strategy of the company. This is due to the fact that Domino's Pizza will always have an easier job attracting and retaining customers as the company already has a good reputations and a strong research and development to acquire current data and trends before presenting the product into new geographic areas. With a presence of 5 continents and more than 70 countries being in Domino system for an impressive of few years, it has established itself as a market leader, particularly in the pizza sector. Its low-cost infrastructure investment and franchise-owned company model make it more profitable than competitors, since Domino's know how to segment its offer based on demographic and geographic considerations and deploys a differentiated targeting strategy to serve the customers depending on their taste and preference. It is one of the primary cost components that makes their business sustainable when compared to competitors. There is no Domino's outlet with the luxury design and interiors. Instead, the establishments encourage customers to consume more quickly so that they may order it and go on. Pizza is promoted for precisely what it is, which is fast food. The disadvantages is Domino's Pizza will face the problem of fewer eateries and increasing in business riskiness. This is because Domino's has more likely to open their new outlet for delivery purposes rather than fine dining dining in establishments, which is a concern especially in a place like malls and other places where people definitely prefer a place to sit. Not only that, when a new outlet be introduced in a new geographic area, the business will expect it to be overwhelmed with customers. This will lead to the low staff retention. A big concern for uh, for implementing this strategy for Domino's is high retention owing to a lack of effective training and development. Furthermore, because the staff recruited is inexperienced, they frequently change employment if they are unable to adjust themselves to the, face, to the fast-paced workplace. Besides that, Domino's also had to face the business risk of the need of the customer to go on on a calorie binge if they determine that a fast food meal is their best choice today because there are various restaurants that offer healthy menu alternative to fulfill their health and well-being needs of the day. Moving on with the justification of the best choice, so the first one we choose for the product development. Since the Minus Pizza goal is to emphasize the efficiency by creations of its prior food that can be picked up in 3 minutes or delivered safely in 10 minutes, this strategy will be an ideal for the company to put on the prioritization in decisions making. The act of modifying and improving an existing product may be less resource intensive as they already have a customer base, a brand positions, and their market will always support what they are offering. The next one will be market penetrations. This type of strategies provide the framework for developing an effective strategies and defense to Domino's Pizza in avoiding and escaping the competitive pricing pit in order to continue become the industry low cost producer. Focus on the sales effort on a specific segment of the market and differentiate your product from the competitors. As Domino's holds a value to produce the best for less, market penetrations has been the main strategy uh, that Domino's used in various consumer markets and was used as a set basis for sustainable competitive advantage. In in the intensely competitive global marketplace by achieving sales, target in products affordability and also the accessibility. The third one will be the diversification. Domino's employ diversification strategy as to help them expand into markets and industry they haven't previously explored. This is accomplished by introducing new products, services or features that will encourage more consumers in the new market. Aside from that, since Domino's Pizza wants to achieve a long term growth objective despite high market turbulence, the company can apply their strategies to acquire profitable business through analyzing market trends and changing customers' expectations as the company has uh, existing knowledge, resources and infrastructures that can support the decisions to di- diversify the product portfolio. Releasing a new product also may result in increased business growth, bringing in new consumer could pay off in the long run by allowing uh, them to cross-sell their products and services. 
And as for the last one, it's market development. If Domino's use this method successfully, they have a good chance of being present in more than competitors' locations. The successful entry in new consumer markets can play a key role in making Domino's Pizza a global brand. Domino's Pizza abilities to minimize the cost, gaining quick brand recognition, expanding the customer space, encouraging consumption, has allowed the organizations to apply these strategies successfully. Not only that, Domino's Pizza's high cultural intelligence also will help the brand earn acceptability easier in cultural diversity consumer markets. Let's have a pass to the next presenters. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Nurasmina Adrana Binti Azman and I'll be explaining for the strategic implementation. The first point that I would like to highlight here is the market penetration implementation. So this kind of strategic implementation has been done by the company by having the collaboration between the top level management, the CEO of the company, J. Patrick Doyle with the head of marketing department, financial manager and also the artistic holder. So uh, as in this case, Domino so has continued to implement this strategy by continuing to, in to introduce the innovative uh, consumer taste and profitability product varieties such as um, parmesan bread bites and also the handmade pan pizza and etc. Besides that, the company also has implemented this kind of strategy by investing by increasing their uh, market investment where in 2011 it's been stated at about 5.5% uh, of their retail sales has been funding to the advertising and also marketing and it has been increased to 6% in 2012. The key resources that were needed in implementing this kind of strategy has two which is which are the research and development resources and also human resources. And this implementation of strategy has led to the uh, uh, strengthen their brand awareness, increase the amount of com company's revenue and also create a powerful with consistent uh, marketing message to all their customers around the world. The second point that I would like to highlight here is the product diversification. So the company has uh, implement this kind of strategy by having the middle management, research and development teams and other stakeholders to working together in ensuring that implementation of this strategy has been successfully done. Domino has implemented the backward integration strategy which is part of the product diversification and also can be called as the cost leadership uh, generic growth. The company has offered their pizza with lower price while maintaining their level of supply chain efficiency. This is because the Domino's Pizza already has their own domestic supply chain where they provide their own raw material to all their franchisee and this has led the store manager to only focus on the operation and not to bother having the bargaining station with, with other suppliers in order to get the ingredient to produce the good quality of foods because they already has their own raw material. And the company, in order to implement this kind of strategy, has depend on several kind of key resources such as financial resources and also the physical resources such as store where they can keep their raw material there. And this kind of implementation strategy of product diversification has led to in to expand their market share in the industry, uh, increase their sales growth, and strengthen their brand awareness, and also provide a strong competitive advantage basis. Next, I will pass to the other presenter to further explain on the strategy implementation. The third strategy item is product development. Food categories have a strong influence on consumers' willingness to eat since they provide customers with more options. For Domino's, they decided to produce new varieties of menus in order to attract more customers. Thus, to make the product development effective, a coordination between the top-level management, manufacturing, research and development, marketing, and also purchasing department is needed. In order to implement this strategy, Domino's has hired a market research firm to assess the feasibility of adding new healthy options to the menu. As a purpose of this strategy, Domino's has launched a range of healthier pizza with just 100 calories per slice or 650 calories for an entire small pizza. In addition, they also add vegan cheese to their menu as well as sauces, quality toppings and sides. The resources needed in order to implement this strategy are financial and research and development resources. As a result, with a variety of vegan friendly menu, vegetarian people find it is easier to order their favorite pizza from Domino's.
Development Strategy item is Market Development Strategy. The Minister Pizza is the world's second most competitive pizza chain in both the international and domestic markets. Opening new franchises in various locations, especially in Asia, where the population is high and the market is rapidly expanding, will be a good strategy for the news. The management, marketing team, and research and development team are responsible to initiate this strategy. In order to implement this market development strategy, marketing team of Dominos can segment the market depending on regions, demographics, income levels, and so on. Once they have decided which market segment to join, the following phase in market development is to establish a promotional strategy to enter the market. The resources needed for this strategy are financial, human resources, and physical resources such as stores, adding to countries, or areas discovered. The goal of this strategy is to broaden or enter different segment or an expert market. In addition, it will also boost the financial position through quality fields and advertisement. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aida Jasmine Binti Azman and I will be presenting on the internal factor evaluation metrics and external factor evaluation metrics. So moving on, uh, for the internal factor evaluation metrics or known as IFE metrics, it is a strategic management tool that helps to evaluate major weaknesses and strengths in a business functional areas. In addition, IFA metrics serves as a basis for identifying and assessing relationships amongst those areas. The IFA metrics is utilized in strategy formulation. From the comparison, the IFE score, the IFE score clarifies that Domino's is at the good position to use its strengths and reduce its weaknesses. It indicates that Domino's is an internally strong organization. It represents that it is excellent in its overall internal strategies when it comes to explore strengths and weaknesses. Next, external factor evaluation metrics or known as EFE metrics is a tool of strategic management that is typically utilized to assess current market conditions. It is an ideal instrument for visualizing and prioritizing the threats and opportunities a firm is facing. From the comparison, according to the EFE score, Dominos is capable to respond to opportunities and threats in the marketplace. It indicates that Domino's is taking the external opportunities and avoiding external threat quite well. However, there is room for improvement that can be done by Domino's Pizza. Next, for taking corrective action, for the first one which is market penetration, Although Domino's is exposed to several risk factors, which is compete primarily against regional and local companies as well as national chains Pizza Hut and Papa John's, corrective action can be done by implement whole and maintain strategy which is expand but not too aggressively. For the second one, which is product development, for the developing new products or modify existing products, corrective action can be done by gain customers by offering customer customizable orders uh, for example customers can opt for vegan cheese for the third one which is diversification uh, Domino's is only focuses on supply chain system hence corrective action can be done by experiment with fresh product ideas for the last one which is market development Domino's uh, is a company which is known for lack of dining area thus invest in research and development can be used as a corrective action Moving on for the qualitative method, uh, for product development, Domino's is making it easier for vegans to order their favorite pizzas. With the introduction of vegan cheese and a number of vegan friendly pizzas, sauces, quality toppings and sides on menu including garlic bread, customers sure to find easy to order a meal to satisfy their taste buds. And then for diversification, during 2020, Domino's launched three new products in the US including new and improved chicken wings and the new chicken taco and cheeseburger specialty pizzas, each of which has been positively received by consumers. Product innovation is also present in Domino's global markets where master franchises have the ability to recommend products to suit their local market taste. 
products include the mayo jaga in Japan, bacon, potatoes and sweet mayonnaise, and the salmonetta in France, which is light cream, potatoes, onions, smoked salmon. Under quantitative method, for market penetration, during 2020, Domino's US store segment accounted for 1.45 billion or 35% of its consolidated revenues. Domino's US store segment consists primarily of its franchise operations, which consisted of 5,992 franchise stores located in the United States as of January 3, 2021. Domino's also operated a network of 363 US company-owned stores as of January 3, 2021. Next, for market development, through initiatives to reduce the impact of energy, wastewater, land use and waste, both in packaging and food. Since 2015, Domino's have sourced 100% sustainable mass balanced palm oil which is used in some of its products. Domino's have also recently increased the recycled content of pizza boxes and launched a nationwide campaign to educate municipalities on the recyclability of pizza boxes. Domino's also introduced e-bikes for delivery in certain markets around the world, helping to reduce our carbon footprint. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon. I bid to Madam May Sakura and to all my fellow classmates. My name is Anis Farazana, Binti Zulkifli and I will be concluding today's presentation. So we could see that strategic management is crucial to the organization based on several importance. Firstly, to predict future threats or opportunities that may arise so that organization will be able to produce decisions based on long-term forecasts, not by having anything done without planning in advance. Secondly, to provide the organization with financial benefits. This is because a developed strategic management process such as planning and implementation of strategies do have major impact on the financial performance. Thirdly, employee will be clear in regards to the objective and direction of the organization. This is because they know what to expect in the future and they are also becoming aware of what is happening in the present. Next, it led to high quality of strategic decision. This is because through group interaction, expertise are able to give their expert opinion so that it may lead to even more effective decision. Last but not least, it provides employees with high motivation. This is because it somehow led to better understanding of which strategy to be adopted so they are able to comprehend on the priorities. Also, they will feel appreciated in regards to their participation or contribution during the strategic management process. So I think that's all from my group. Thank you.